Right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Broadview Public Library's book banter. We are going to be bantering. First of all, I'm Tisha. I'm Yvonne. I'm Andrea. Hi. We are going to be bantering about All My Lies Are True by Ms. Dorothy Coomson. Did I pronounce that right? Mm -hmm. All right. And this book is a sequel to a book called The Ice Cream Girls, also by Dorothy Coomson. So let's dive right in. Andrea, this was Miss Andrea's pick. So she is going to be, whew, yes, this was Miss Andrea's pick. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, let me preface this by saying when I um, chose this book, um, I knew it was a sequel, but the girls didn't know that. And there was, there was stuff in there that referred to it, but it probably <clears throat> would have been better for them if they had read the Ice Cream Girls. I actually remember the ice cream girls I remember the premise of it but I couldn't remember the details of it so when they made references to it I could kind of remember what happened but if you didn't read the book then you might it might be better if you read the other book before so you know all the details of the book so so why don't you give us a summary of the summary book? of it is um all my lives are true like I said is a sequel to the, to the ice cream girls and the ice cream girls were two girls that were being um um an older teacher um, had kind of been having an affair with these young girls, if you want to say. Um, he pit them against each other. He'd tell one, one thing and the other the other thing. And they were, um, he played them against each other. Um, at the end, he ended up getting killed. And I actually don't remember who killed him. I don't know if one of the girls killed him or not, but uh, one of the girls went to jail for the murder of this man. He was older. I guess he was a lot older. These, these girls were teenagers. So um, the sequel is about um, the one girl, Poppy, is out of jail now trying to live her life, and Serena, the other girl, who has a daughter. Well, the brother of Poppy felt like Serena got away with murder, so he decided to date Serena's daughter because he wanted to get back at Serena. But his whole plan was to do all this so that he can get back at Serena. So we kind of turned, there were some turns there where he, um, I think he did actually kind of like her and she kind of liked him, but they found out what was going on. So it kind of went from there, but that was that's basically what the premise because, um, and then I forgot again, why did she say all my lies are true? <laughs> I read so many books, I'm sorry. That I it's remember okay. what I did, <laughs> so, so I can take it from here. Because Serena was, all her lies was true because no, she very. was her whole life she had basically she never told anybody what that happened back in the day she I think her husband kind of knew a little bit but I don't think he knew every detail about what was going on the kids knew nothing about what was going on well so, she thought they didn't know so the character so the characters in this book until the guy came and told her. her so the characters in this book are Verity which um Andrea mentioned the the, the ice cream girls are Poppy and Serena um, and Verity is Serena's daughter. Um, Serena has a husband named Evan, who's a doctor, a daughter named Verity, and a son named Conrad. So she's the ice cream girl that didn't go to jail. Poppy is the ice cream girl that did go to jail. She has a young child named Tina, Patina, um, a fee, a later on a fiance named Alan, a sister named Bella, and a brother named Logan, and then their, her mom and her dad. So those are the two ice cream girls and their families. So we get to this point where, like you said, the brother of Poppy, who was Logan, seeks out Serena thinking that, um, you know, I need her to, to confess so my sister can get her life back on track and not go to jail. So instead of meeting Serena, he meets Verity, Serena's daughter. I guess she's in her 20s or something. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how old Logan is. I don't know how old they said he was. Um, obviously older because, you know. Um, so he starts up this relationship with Verity on the pretense of letting her know what her mother did. Because I guess she didn't know, but later on it's revealed that Conrad was like, yeah, we have Google, I Googled you. <laughs> well, he, her. he never said anything to anybody. Right. And he didn't think anything of it. He's like, oh, well. Everybody got skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, the teenage son. But once Verity finds out all this stuff about her mother, she gets angry. 
like she doesn't tell, like you said, she doesn't tell her mother that she knows, but her mother knows something is wrong because of the way her daughter is treating her. Right. And you were going, I'm sorry, you were picked up yeah. from there, you were saying. Oh, but I guess when she, the boy finally told her what was happening, she kind of was kind of distant towards her mother. She was kind of, you know, she had an attitude because she felt like her mother should have told her all this before. So she wasn't as close to her mother then as she used to be. So her mother knew something was wrong, but she didn't think that was wrong. She just thought it was had maybe something to do with this new guy that was in her life that she never really told anybody, but she was being secretive about things going on in her life. She wouldn't tell anybody where she was going, what she was doing. She stopped spending time with the family, with the brother, when this is what she used to do. So I guess, I don't know. The guy, Logan, I don't know. At first, when I was reading the book, this book was kind of confused for me. I hate to say it. Because the way she kind of went to in the story, she went from them telling about their story way back when to coming back to where they are now. And a lot of times I couldn't figure out who was talking or who they was talking to or who they was talking about. So it was a little confusing. So maybe if I'd have read the first book, it might've been more clearer, but I was kind of confused as I was going through the book. I was getting really, and it was aggravating. <laughs> it was so aggravating. It was hard to read. It took me so long to read this book. I put it down. I come back to it thinking maybe it makes sense in a little while, but every page I turned, it was, I was getting more and more confused. I'm like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> I marathoned through this book. I was like, I told myself like the Iron Man. I was like, I can't do it. I'm so tired. <laughs> I did it. And then I did like that last leg. I got up with it and I was like, I'm like, I finished it. Yes. I, I just, <laughs> at the last, that's what I got marathoned. I just couldn't read. Just keep reading the page. I'm like, yep, like I'm I did. Just, keep going. just try to get it over with. When I got over with, I'm like, ooh. Mm -hmm. He was hurt. I'm like, no, I have <laughs> You know, and I do have to apologize. You don't apologize. You know, that's what we read the book. I should have had you read the first book first and it would have made sense because I thought it was a very good book but only because I knew because you the, read the first, the first book so I thought it was good but no uh, don't apologize that's what we do here yeah you couldn't enjoy the book the way I enjoyed it because you didn't know what was in the first book so yeah no it but. was just throwbacks like you said like it was I mean this book you're right it was a different story um that took place but it was centered around the ice cream girls because that was their mom. And the, in the, it, when you find out why Logan did what he did, you know it's because of them. And like they were saying, all my lies are true because even though, like Verity was saying, I'm not lying. Like, this is true. You might think I'm lying, but this is true. Well, when she told the story, they sound crazy. Well, this <laughs> this story ended up being crazy. Yeah, there was, was even though halfway through, like toward the end, I figured out I was like, it's this fool that's doing this. I knew it was him that was doing all this. I just didn't know why or how he was doing it. But after like something clicked, and I was like, okay, this is him. Because and Serena knew it right away. Serena was like, Verity, why didn't you tell me you was dating this dude and he was doing all this stuff to you and mm -hmm. all in all this time? Yeah, right. Because this is a pattern, like. This is what, what's his name, Marcus? Yeah. The teacher. the teacher. This is what Marcus did to me. This is what Marcus did to us. You know, this is what he was doing to us. And this is what Logan is doing to you. Mm -hmm. So why wouldn't you come and talk to me? And that's what I didn't understand. I thought, I don't know, this could be a real life scenario. It could be. But to me, it just seemed like if they're such a close family, like, you know, she always talked to her mom, her dad. Why didn't she even tell her dad? Right. Why did she stop? I mean, yeah. Why did you she, know? She shouldn't have. Well, it. I think her premise was, was to, her thing was to try to prove him wrong. That no, my mother did not kill this man. Even though you think she did. I don't think she did. So she felt that she kept going along with him. That was how she was doing it first. But that didn't make she no sense. Trying, like, the whole story didn't make no sense. Because the, the <laughs> murder was over with. The girl already went to jail. <laughs> she was out of jail. Her mama can't be tried for the same crime twice. They found her not guilty. She can't go back on trial for the same trial they already found her not guilty of in the first place. So I don't understand well, at she all. She didn't want him to remember his thing was he wanted to destroy her mother. Right. So Just like his daughter. sister's life was destroyed. But so that's my point. Her, so her she daughter. said, okay, I'll go along with you. We'll keep looking through all this stuff and I'm going to prove you wrong. My mama didn't do this. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Why was Barry even going along with this? How... Who she didn't cares? Want him to hurt her mother. Remember, he walked to the door the first. Call the said, police. <laughs> he wanted to talk to her mother. If some guy walk up to your house threatening you, and your intention is to harm my mama, call the police, Verity. 
So I said, I don't get the whole premise. Why she even go with Logan and say, okay, wait a minute. Okay, my mom did all this stuff when she was a teenager. She's 50 years old now. That was long ago. Your sister already went to jail. She got out. You can try to hurt my mother, but what you like, what are you gonna do? Because she can't go to jail now. Even if my mama confessed to the crime, she can't go to jail because she she don't, she's, she's not guilty. Right, right. She's already been tried for this crime. So why mind. didn't she just ask Logan? Logan, what are your intentions? How are you planning to hurt my mom? Right. She and call the police. Right, right. Say, hey, have... some dude threatened to hurt my mom. Hello? <laughs> what? Yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> maybe she hasn't even told her mom. This guy maybe that this or your dad. Life, That's what I'm saying. You know, why she... didn't she tell her dad? If her dad came to her rescue and her dad, she has this relationship with her dad, and she know her daddy won't go let nobody hurt her mama. So why didn't she tell her dad? Say, hey, daddy, this white dude walked up to the house. He threatened to hurt mom. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm confused about why the whole thing even took place. Like this scenario, like I'm like, what was she scared of? She was scared. I understand she's scared of her mama getting hurt, but what was he going to do? Was he planning to kill her mother? Cause I'm like, if he said, okay, I'm going to hurt your mom. Why would you go off with him? Why would you meet him? If somebody walked up to your house and said, I want, I'm going to, you know, what? Maybe some of it was curiosity, like what place or what the Maybe she wanted to know what her mother did. She might have wanted to know what okay, happened. Yeah, what Hello, you know, her mother know. never told her. Yeah, she what never had any of her man? What's he talking about? Like back in the day and all this had taken place. She but was she, trying to find out. But that's what I'm saying. This white dude just walked up. I'm forgive me for saying I'm not trying to make it a racial thing. I'm just trying to differentiate that. Um, in the story, Serena and her family are black and Poppy and her family are white. And that was one of the thing about skin color um, that they brought up in the book. So forgive me if I keep saying that. But if somebody walked up to your house, did I'm like, Verity, did you ask him from some ID? Did you, you don't know this dude from nowhere. You don't even know who Poppy is <laughs> in the first place. So why wouldn't you say, oh, you know, what do you want? Give me your name, let me see your ID. Who are you? Okay, I'll go Google this. And if I want to, I'll call you, give me your information. Why would you meet him in the cafe? A stranger just walked up to your house out the blue. You didn't ask him for no ID. Don't know who Poppy is. And you believe a stranger over your mother. You, your mother raised you. Why would you go with this dude if he talking stuff about your mom instead of saying, okay, let me ask my mom and my dad about this. No matter what, why, why would you do that? You know your mama your whole life. You just met this dude that just walked up to your house. No, I'm just curious. <laughs> young and naive. I don't know. I don't know why she went with the man. I mean, you know, I don't know why she, but maybe she was curious as to what was going on. But she could have just told him, why don't you just call me and tell me? I'll give you my number. Just call I, me and let me know what's going on. I don't know. But now I'm like, why are you here? Like, for what purpose? Like, how do you plan not with my mom? Like, what's your purpose here? Okay. All right. Get off our property. And let me talk to my mama about it. And if my mama needs to call you, where can you be reached at? Right, if right. not, like you said, I would have called the police. Hello, some dude just walked up to my house threatening my mom. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she was, I don't know. So I'm confused about the whole premise of the story. Why did this even take place? Like, so anyway, sorry. That was, that was my big thing in the beginning. I was like, why am I reading this? Like, why wasn't this shut down? Right then and there. Well, then it went away. But I mean, didn't even write it. But I mean, she kept that secret. So, so this happens, and you know, and I hate thinking. Like I hate thinking later in the story when we find out what Logan did and what he was setting her up to do. So Logan was basically setting up Barry. Yeah. Like you said, Logan was trying to get through Serena through her daughter. Verity didn't pick up on this in the beginning. She didn't, she didn't know. Pick up on any of that. She didn't pick up on any of the subtle ways he was manipulating her right, or abusing right. her. Because remember when they kept asking, her, like, no, that's not abuse. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Right. So she didn't. <laughs> she was kind of maybe she was just kind of naive to like mother naive. said. She had never told her that men could be this way. That so she you know she always naive. made everything like everything was rosy. Like me and your dad, we got a spiritual relationship. This is how men are all the time. You never gonna meet a you know ask a dog out there that's gonna try to take advantage of you. Right. And that's what she says at the end. She wished she had to talk to her daughter, and maybe this wouldn't have happened 
But she didn't know, like you say, she would have never guessed this would come up. But like I said, had Verity just introduced Logan and said, hey, you know, I'm seeing this dude. This has happened. And well, she couldn't do that. Well, that was one of his tactics, like you said. What, she, what they was up to. Right. And that was one of his knew. tactics, like yeah. you said, to separate her from, from her, her family and friends. What, uh, Marcus did. Mm-hmm. He did exactly the same thing that he uh, did with the two girls. All right. So, um, like Verity and Logan start this relationship, and um, they don't tell their family about it. But later on, Logan starts to pressure Verity to tell their families. Like, so her dad's 50th, I don't know, her dad's birthday is coming up. She tells Logan about a party that they're having. Logan keeps, you know, can I come? I want to come. I, we should tell him at the party. We should tell him. Verity was like, no, I don't want you coming to this party, you know. Yeah, she did that with her Don't mom. show up, right? This yeah. is about my family. This is not about you. That was the only reason why he wanted to come because he wanted to shock right. Serena and right. to guess who you know who I am and you know why I'm here and this type of right. thing. But Verity didn't know that. Verity just thought he was being no. annoying, like you know, right. that was it. She you know, because at Verity, I would have been like, you know, no, I said no. This is not about you or me. It's about my dad. Don't come and mess up my party. But he did anyway. Um, so before that. I guess he was getting on Verity's nerves. Verity met him at her apartment and, right. you know, was like, don't come. They had some kind of altercation. She calls her friend Howie. Mm-hmm. Um, after, I guess, uh, Logan got knocked out or something, like she was trying to defend herself. Right, right. Logan got knocked out. Um, she calls Howie because she gets scared. She don't know what to do. She didn't call the police again. <laughs> <sighs> That's not an option for her. So. No, like I'm not gonna leave. <laughs> My lord. I'm just gonna make sure he's all right. Make sure he ain't dead. Right. That much. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna leave, but how are we gonna come? I'm gonna leave and go get ready for the party after I just knock somebody I'm unconscious. Dead or not. In my house. Let's go check to make sure. In my own house, okay. mind you. So I'll all right. I wouldn't have left nobody unconscious in my house. Had it been his house, maybe. <laughs> but not my own house like so she leaves Howie comes over um skip to scene Logan shows up all battered and bruised at the location that they're having her dad's birthday party at her best friend who Lord Jesus says oh look there's some dude out there <laughs> he don't look quite right <laughs> and she's like Barry he's looking at you <laughs> And then Verity, like, I think beforehand, like, she's like, Verity, do you know him? Verity's like, uh, like, she didn't want to say nothing. Oh so he collapses. <laughs> they all run out there. They see the dude. So I guess Verity finally tells her best friend that she knows the dude. She opened her big mouth. Verity knows him. That's her boyfriend. Like, Lord Jesus. Because if I was Verity, I wouldn't have said nothing. I would have been like, mm. it's his word against hers. I don't know who this random dude is that just showed up to the party. And I don't know. I felt like I understand the dude was hurt, but I felt like they were doing too much. Like they were all doctors. Yes. Call 911. Why are you riding in the ambulance with him? Why is you His involved? Kicked in and he had to make sure he was okay. But why? Like, how did you get this involved in a random person with her best? He said he has a good heart. He's a doctor. Right. No, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying he's he's not. Said that he used to do this for people in the neighborhood. Like they got sick, they come to him. He but I'm saying, why the whole family? So why be like, okay, Evan, well, she we'll pick you up. Her mother, who he was, that he was Logan Poppy's, you know, brother, and that's the guy she was dating. So maybe that's why her father decided. Okay, but why you pick this moment, Barry? Why you pick the moment where he, he just came beat up? up? She was scared. Just, I don't know. I think she, just built I up think she really did care for him. But so I'm just saying, of all the moments to pick, why would you wait until he battered and bruised? Time to now. The man's almost dead. Yeah, I, guess, I guess it's time to confess. But like, you yeah. knew what you had just did before the party. She knew that she was the one that hit him over the head. So why on earth would you take this time right now to say you know time. this man? Like, I'm clean now, right. I don't know what he's going to say. Yeah. Again, but again, it's her right word now. against his. And that's exactly what it ended up being. That one small confession almost cost her her life. She went to jail because Logan, of course, later on we find out he planned this. Right, right, right. But I would have been mad at Logan was like, did not tell you not to show up here. <laughs> like, 
I swear, man, whatever, not. I, I swear that was my first instinct when I heard, you know, when I read the part that Logan, if I was very, I would have been mad. I would have been like, didn't I tell you not to come to my father's birthday? Like, why is you here, Logan? Like, <laughs> that was his plan all along, though, because he remember left. He was gonna like, get there. He left diaries on a flash drive. Yeah, he just yeah, yeah, yeah. it. He, he really thinking that you know Verity had been abusing him right. and the other way around. But that's how he planned it. He was gonna mm -hmm. do this so the little girl would go to jail, and then he in back place of her mother. Right, so that right. was kind of you know, right, right. Like, hey, you didn't go to jail, but your daughter is. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna get back at you. <laughs> right, I can't get that you, way. but I get your daughter. Right. Right. <laughs> No, I mean, I get it. In the end, when it was revealed, right. it was still just... It still didn't make sense to me. Yes, yeah, it was still really, crazy. I'm like, oh my God. It then was, his sister figures out after he trying to tell the story back, like, I don't sound like... He keep telling the story, but it keep changing. He keep, you know, things are not adding up what you're saying. So she talks to her husband and like, I don't think he... Something, something ain't right. He just... He told this story like three, four times. Right. It sounded different every time he told it. recognize. So she on. started investigating and started asking him and she went directly to him and asked him why are you lying tell me what really happened mm -hmm. and he kept trying to say what you talking about what you <laughs> try to you know convince him like no it is true it is true it is true but like i said at the end i still like when i figured out who actually did i'm like oh my god now come on now how did that i happen? said that i was like where did she him? come from <laughs> And then later on, we found out Bella, the sister, Poppy's sister and Logan's sister, you know, she even going through her stuff at the time. So she walks in on Logan stabbing Howie when Howie goes over to, you know. Yeah, he was trying to help him. She, right, yeah, right. He was, you know, unconscious and half, he was trying to go patch him up, fix his wounds or whatever. And I guess he got upset. Why, I don't know why he got upset with Howie and started stabbing him. That's not cool. He, I guess he had thought that prior to, that Verity and Howie were together. They were just more than friends because he had walked in one time, found them on the couch. He had the and they had, he was you know, jealous. he had another right. an okay. altercation. Okay. Howie yeah. walked out and he didn't like Howie. So I guess, you know, how dare you send Howie over here um, to check on, you know what I mean? Like, why you send Howie, Verity? Uh, why you leave me here? And he took it out on Howie. Bella walks in again. Don't nobody call the police. No, oh, that's kidding me. I mean, <laughs> People are getting stabbed and hit on the head and nobody how gets, we is, right. right how we or whatever it is in britain how we, oh, this story takes place in like london and the uk it doesn't right, take place right. Yes. right so um how he ends up missing verity of course is scared to text howie because of the link so she don't know where how he is um for all this time they don't know where how he yeah, is no he had a shady past or something. You know, his girlfriend was and abusing his girlfriend him was crazy and she was beating him right? and they but thought he would never say it was him they always thought it was, it was him, him beating her because right. so he, 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 he had already right. been arrested seven right. times so he didn't want to so he didn't right um, so he, so Bella, we find out later, Bella took him home and how he's been at Bella's house recuperating or trying not to die because ain't nobody came, stitched up his wounds. He was stabbed, what do you say, three times, whatever, how many yeah. times he was stabbed. Again, nobody called the police. Nothing. Nobody. How, how didn't want nobody call the Right. So they yeah, didn't know where how it was. Or go on Craigslist and find us, you know, a, a at home doctor or something. <laughs> doctor say, that does right. The doctor that does, does house calls yeah, and pay him under the table. He could have no, he could have gone to the hospital under a false name. He didn't have to give his name, right, so his real say. name. He could have, you know, not brought any ID and yeah, he, he could have just not. said I was stabbed. I don't know. I was mugged. I don't know what any exactly. Right. And he could have, you know. I mean, I don't know the rules. I'm just saying, though, he could have went, people drop people off anonymously, don't right. know. So I'm just saying, I don't know. But he could have got some kind of medical help, Why medical attention. I still don't understand that. Why would you take she, somebody she, bleeding she, she and that? To the, to she was scared, heart. too, like she said. And she knew her brother had done this. Well, I don't care. The man's going to die. So <laughs> everybody was telling all secrets and lies. So Bella was keeping a secret that she's the one that knocked out Logan with the frying pan. Logan didn't tell that he nearly killed Howie and Verity didn't tell that she bashed him over the head too. So everybody was keeping, like you said, all my lies are true. They was keeping secrets and saying half truths and not telling people and this. And say that Bella, the one who came in and knocked him upside the head the third time. Right. <laughs> I guess the first time she hit him, then he hit his head on the fireplace. 
and then she came in him him again. Again. <laughs> right when he saw stab, stabbing Howard. Bella oh, was the one. He should have been dead. Right. But he didn't make. Somehow he made his way to the seafront. I know and to show up at this party like, like a a psychopath that he was. Mm-hmm. I said if I was Barry, I would have been mad. I'd be like Logan, what you doing here? I told you don't come. Like she probably been in her mind. Before. And I would have been like her, whatever her best friend's name. But like no, I don't see nobody. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who you talking about? <laughs> So through all this, um, they're at the hospital. Again, I don't know why they all at the hospital because if Dr. Evan wanted to go, um, Serena could have been like, okay, um, we'll we'll meet you there to pick you up. But we didn't have to go in, sit in the waiting room and all this stuff. We'll wait in the car until you're ready to come out or call us when you want us to pick you up from the hospital um etc so they all in the waiting room and poppy and bella and everybody show up poppy and serena for the first time and have a long 10 years or something they said yeah i can't remember but this thing yeah. said 10 years or something yeah, I, guess, I think now. this story was 30 years after the fact i don't know but yeah because she had been out for a while maybe she had a daughter she did have a daughter like seven so or something was like 30 years after this had happened mm-hmm. so poppy and serena was like oh you know hey hey like what'd you do to my brother and so immediately you know the blame goes to serena for poppy like what's going on why are you here right but i mean like i said they didn't have they didn't have contact with each other they they were off living their own separate lives getting their lives together you know not thinking about this stuff that happened 30 years ago and here come logan who for God knows, like what Papa even said at the end, why were you doing all this? That happened 30 years ago. I moved on with my life. Serena moved on with her life. Why would you do this after all this time? For what reason did you have to bring this up after all this time when we're finally getting our lives together? I have a daughter, I'm getting married. You know, I have a good job that I like, you know, I'm okay. So why would you do this? I ain't asked you to do this. Nobody gave you permission to do on my behalf. You're talking about you doing this for me. Right. I ain't t- <laughs> if I was everybody, I would have been, if Serena, Poppy, Verity, I would have been all mad at Logan. Like, I wouldn't even, Logan, like, and they were like, you know, it came out that Logan was crazy. crazy. <laughs> um, he ended up in jail. It's like they all were crazy. At the end, Pop, Pop <laughs> even said her whole family was crazy. Pop was crazy. Remember when she got out of there, she was stalking Serena. She was following her around, mm-hmm. going to her job, and what I'm like, why are you? She had an imaginary friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but she was talking to somebody in jail. That was confusing and, to me. That part. I, I thought she was really there at first. And so I'm like, wait a minute, this woman is dead, I think. <laughs> but she was seeing her ghost or something remind her whenever, whenever that would pop up. Yeah. Like that whenever was... she had issues or something, this lady would come pop up and talk to her. She was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this story was it was like I said, it was interesting i get the premise um but it was just weird like like you said the i mean like i said because we didn't read the first book so for her to be jumping back in the past it was confusing because we didn't know what past she was talking about he was talking about from the first book there and now now when it was so many elements <laughs> to this book and she introduced care she introduced was named Jack Marcus's son, or oh, I forgot his name, that apparently looked just like yeah, Marcus. Like Marcus. Oh, yeah, I forgot about yeah. him. Yeah. That apparently yeah. was hitting on Serena. Yeah, which was, was looking, weird and crazy. <sighs> yeah, because she was looking at him like she thought he was really Marcus. Mm-hmm. And was like, no, he's like, he can't be alive. Mm-hmm. How did he come back? And he looks exactly the same. He didn't age at all. Right, he so, didn't age at all. And but that was his son. Did, yeah, she was still afraid. Oh yeah, of him from all the damage she had done to her back in the past. So. She so. thought that that was really him. And then when his son decided to go hit him, I think you're really attractive. Woman. Like, what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I'm crazy. Right. How young are you? First of all, you do know I'm married. Like, but she ends up going back to ask him for help for something for Poppy. Yeah, she did go back and she's to meet with him yeah. to kind of get closure for Poppy because, again, it never said, I said, I didn't read the first book, but you said that it didn't say it, who killed him. It didn't did. say who killed him in this book either. Yeah, I no. don't think she, she I don't who really think killed I, him. I, have to think, I don't think they killed him. I That's why remember. I'm thinking because of what 
Serena asked the guy to do that she couldn't have killed him because she was asking him so to yeah. tell a story that his mother had possibly done. Right, it. right. His then, mother had went mental cuckoo yeah, after so that. And then she, the way she told him to tell it, he didn't tell her like that. He told it differently. But she said he told her like this was the truth. So she yeah. wondered, did her yeah, mother, did his mother really, really do it? Did his mother really kill him because of everything he was doing? Because yeah, he was saying, who knows? So, uh, multiple people could have killed him based on his behavior and how girls, yeah, they, they've done yeah, this yeah, too. Right. Right. I don't think they killed him. I think they got caught. He was not a nice man, they were saying. Right. So, so um, I guess Logan got mad because um, Poppy was accused of it, but she didn't do it either. So she, he felt like, well, she didn't do it. And Serena had, had to, to have been the one. Right. So, so why is she in jail? <laughs> my sister did all this time for her. Right. My, mom, my parents hate her. We can't even have a family down because they look at them all crazy. Right, right. But the parents were probably responsible. Remember, she they said that Serena, I mean, Poppy was writing letters to her brothers and sisters, but the parents wouldn't give it. So maybe if maybe if Poppy had an opportunity to talk to her brother and sister during all this time, maybe this would never happen. Logan would have had some sense of understanding, but like, okay, you know, was trying to she, no, we're not talking to her. She mm -hmm. in jail. She did a horrible thing. <laughs> you know, yeah. could have. They just shunned her. Right, right. they did. And, and then he went, felt, like you said, when they right. came back, when she got out, they still did that. Only reason they would tolerate her because they liked the granddaughter. Mm -hmm. So to get her to bring the granddaughter over, they would be half nice to her. Not and the mama nice. couldn't cook. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> That's all they were talking about, about the stuff she used to cook. Like, it'd be horrible. <laughs> Like grandma, I mean grandma, you go, your food nasty. Like don't say <laughs> well, that. Don't say that. <laughs> Jack, don't say that. <laughs> we'll go to McDonald's later. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this story was it was <clears throat> it was a good story. Cause I got into it. It was you know it was crazy because it was so me. many. I just it. I it was really never got into the story because me, I, I I just don't think it was any necessary to be right because. Once they she went to jail for this murder or whatever, they still didn't tell us who had to kill this man. I, I mean, just really don't really know. Right. And I, said, and I, I thought that what was happening at the end that they would say who, who actually, actually did it. Killed. So like, what's, and I don't know. I thought the characters were flat. Like I didn't dislike any of the care, but I didn't love, like I didn't connect with any of these characters in this book. I thought the characters were either. flat. Like they were just there. Yeah, that's how I felt. Story, like Verity was annoying to me. I'm sorry, Verity, you were annoying. Because, like I said, this could have been avoided. Like, Verity, what were you thinking? You're supposed to be educated. You're supposed to be a freaking, going to be a freaking lawyer. You worked in a law firm, Verity. How on earth? If How on earth did this even happen? You work in the law firm. And then her lawyer ends up being the boss that she kissed. Again, another secret that they hold it in. And that never came out. I thought that would have came out. But no, they agreed. <laughs> and it was weird because it was two sides of that story. She telling one story and he telling another to the lady that came in later to, you know, talking about Verity was the one that pushed up on me. So I'm like everybody, when she would go from perspective to perspective, everybody was telling. So it's like, you don't know who to believe. You never said who was who. Was Verity's side of the story true or was his side of the story true? Was Verity the one? So like, what was she, or was she just doing that to try to establish that Verity was this type of woman? Because again, like she was going from perspective, she would go from Poppy to Serena and tell the same story from, but did, so I didn't know, I felt like none of the narrators were reliable. Like I never knew who to believe. I believe Logan in the end, <laughs> <laughs> that he did all this <laughs> um but again when she was writing which i guess is the sign of a great writer because when she, verity was telling her side it's like okay verity told her side first so automatically we're thinking that she's the reliable narrator but then you get to logan's side and you get poppy discovering the flash drive and stuff and you hear logan's point of view and you're like okay wait a minute well i never did think that verity was abusing him but I thought it was Tim. I don't, when I read that, I'm like, why would he do that? Why would he? Because after, you know, if I was reading the story, I'm thinking that he really did, keep, you know, grow to care about her after they were working together all these long hours and spending all this time together trying all to that money. I think you know, he did at the end because remember she went to see him in jail and um, she said, um, what was it? She said, I know you care about her or something. She said, I'm a teller too. Mm -hmm. But I think he did grow to care about her but his his, his motivation his motivation for revenge still got to do this. you know if they had met 
under different circumstances. This might have worked out. It might have worked out, but his his motivation, like you said, to get revenge was stronger than his life for her. I, but yeah, I think so. he did have some feeling for it, but he's like, no, I got to go through this plan. And then that last page, like, oh my God. I don't remember what was the last page. What happened? Did she want to be pregnant? Oh, pregnant. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I thought, oh, come on. Well, because again, the whole comedy, thing, like he set that up that they wasn't using condoms. Right. Well, she, <laughs> that, you know, all this stuff. That's right, yeah, because she kept, yeah. That, yeah, that was. Uh, that was just a total out of the nowhere thing. They're like, what? No, it wasn't really out of nowhere because even though it said that she had went to get birth control. Yeah, but you assume that, you know, she went and got the birth control pill, so she's okay said. now. Nope. Nothing's 100%. But there we go. Abstinence is, but, you know. And now, <laughs> And Serena are gonna be connected forever. Yep. Ain't gonna happen. Now, there they go. Not for sure, Okay. <laughs> crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, like that was he's never time. gone. And like I said, Logan in jail. So now your daddy is a psychopath uh, yeah. in jail. Yeah. The jeans okay. might come. Them psycho jeans might come. Yeah. Now she got to deal with him. Uh. Yeah. So it was a, it was a lot of twists and turns in this book and a lot of um, stuff to process, Too much you know, process. Um, in this book. Um, did you have any other? I will say only because I like her. I, I like her writing. Mm-hmm. So I always enjoyed reading her books because I've read a lot of her books and her books are very hard, you know, usually hard to find here. So when I get one, I read it. Um, I probably should have had you all read her other book that she had, but I enjoy reading her. That's why I enjoy the book. And plus I knew about the ice cream girl. So that's just me because I'm partial to her. She's a black author and uh, mm-hmm. I think she's good. So yeah, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up and a snap in a circle. Okay. I thought it was, <laughs> I thought it was, I thought it was just me. <laughs> and like I said, I think if we had read the other book first, we would have appreciated this more and kind of been more in the loop. I felt we were out of the loop when I was reading this book. And I was getting mad at myself in the book because I was like, I'm out of the loop. Like, you know, when people tell us stuff and you don't know what's going on, but you got to pretend you know what's going on sometimes. Yeah, like, yeah, I know who, you know, yeah. Bill Nye is, but you really don't. <laughs> you look at, like, you should know who they are. And you feel like, okay. Right. And that's what I felt. I felt like I was out of the loop when I was reading this. And I was getting frustrated just for that reason. It's like, okay. What happened? What was on this trial? Like, why was they beating this girl up? Because when they was reading the transcripts, I didn't understand that story. I didn't understand how they were on trial for murder. Through. They were two underage right. girls who were being abused and, and assaulted. Like that was even a problem by a like, teacher of all whatever. things. He might have been abusing you, but you shouldn't have killed him. So <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, where were the other girls? So how did they catch those two in particular? If he was doing this to other girls. And where were the other girls at? Why wasn't nobody else put on trial? I mean, like, I was saying, all, saying, all I these things. Read, because I'm like, that came out, and like I, said, I think that came out in 2010. I can't remember. Because I can't remember, remember the whole, what, because well, I'm like, like, from when it was reading, and like, the, those are two girls that was in the vicinity of when he died, because Serena somehow got Poppy out of there. That's what she was saying. She got her out of there, so something wouldn't happen. So I guess. Either they found him dead and she went and got him, we got to get out of here right now before police come or whatever. Uh, and maybe that's yeah, I can't remember if they found Dean or whatever. They they might have found something maybe that associated to them because they didn't go to the police and they were. Right. Um, and and so they might have like been, again. maybe they were eight, maybe they were of age. They might have made, they were 18 or something. No, they said I they were like 15, 16, I think. But yeah, again, yeah. why didn't they call the police? Why <laughs> didn't they tell their parents? Well, why? Why? At that time, the guy Marcus, I think, you know, if you're 15, you know how people do something they did threaten me while I killed him. Plus, so like Serena said, again, she hello, really 911, my teacher is Stop threatening me. Well, yeah, or go to the principal, well, yeah, hello. It's easy to say that, but you call somebody, that. that's why when kids get abused and they say they don't tell them about it because they tell them, I'm going to kill your parents. I'll kill your sister. I'm going to kill everybody in your family. Don't say it. So they're scared. So they were probably scared. Well, I can't tell anybody because mm-hmm. if I tell somebody, he's gonna kill them. And they believe him because mm-hmm. they're young, they're naive. I don't, I don't know. know. They, no, they you're really right. Know. You're right. Like I said, we so, can never know. He can manip- He was a manipulator. So he was. But like, like I said, Serena he just stated, pitted them against each other. He used other. to do cruel things, but then he would do like really nice things. Right. So they like, would, you know, I love you, and this is why I'm doing this. Why you make me do this type of right, stuff? Right. Right. So and you know, I don't like that other girl. You know, she just she just stupid as I don't know what. That's why I like you. <laughs> but you know, right, and they're they're young, impressionable. They don't know they like this okay. man is, is, is 
manipulating them and right. playing them and playing right. you know he tells other well she you know, she's ugly you know you're not as pretty as she you right. know and then they're just like oh okay feeling good about yourself and then he'll do something wacky crazy and then, and then he'll pull them back in and it's hug them you know i'm you know you just made me do that i just yeah. everything's fine don't worry. i never understand it's like how do you have the energy to do all this like how do you have the energy logan marcus how you got the energy to to do this how if you're a player you play that's but he like, ain't no player he's an abuser he's an abuser and if you, but that's how? the same thing as if a man it's an empowering thing it's empowering yes who can all let that's energy he has, he has two girlfriends he's an older man right he's an older man he got he these young women he has power over these women he, yeah. he can, and he was a teacher so he yeah, can he, he can mold them he can he can tell them things and they'll right. go for it so it's anyway like i said even like if a, a man is playing two women he can be in love with the, you know baby you know that and he talked to the other girl. She don't mean nothing. You know I love her. You know, and they 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 going for it. They going for the okey doke. So yeah, if if a man has that much power and that much, um, he gives even a man power. that has yeah. that much charisma or that much that that attraction to you, a man that has all these women, how does he have all these women? Because he he got what he got, and he's gonna do what he do with what he got. Let's talk about the time that he was. Very nice looking man. Right. So I he, guess he was very caressed. Right. Know, yeah. So they're just you know, like, like play, like, play, like, hey, I want to get with you. Right, let me right. just, even though he say this, yeah. but I don't care. Yeah, but you know, just being, he's, he's an older man, <laughs> man. He makes me feel he's so fine. And, you know, they just going for it. Go I mean, yeah. It's something, you know, a teacher, you know, impressionable. Right. 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 So, all right. Let me. Can be not easily, saying it's right, but it's not right, but like, it can be it easily happens. done. It happens if, you know, you know, especially if they're coming from maybe their family life wasn't all that for all that and this man is paying attention to him and getting them little gifts and doing stuff like that then yeah they're gonna go for it so let me just say if anyone listening to this or if you know anyone who is experiencing abuse um or yourself are in a situation um there is a national domestic abuse hotline the number is on the screen, 1-800-799-723, or you can text START to 88788. We are in Illinois. Um, if you're in Illinois, there's an Illinois Coalition Against Domestic Violence. They also have a hotline and a website. But again, if you know anybody experiencing abuse or you yourself, dial 911 first. Even if you're not sure. Or dial 911. If you can't get to one of these, the if you're in an immediate danger, down 911. So we just wanted to talk to clear. Or if right. you know somebody who's not saying anything and you suspect that this may be happening to them, then try and get some help for that person. But, so again, this was a fictional story. These are just our opinions, um, you know, based on the story. But one of the themes in the story was abuse, domestic abuse. Again, these were underage girls being abused by their teacher. And then Logan claiming abuse, Howie being abused by his girlfriend. Abuse can take any, um, abuse doesn't have to be just toward women. You know, traditionally we think about men abusing women, but you know, women abuse- And it's just physical, sometimes it's mental. Emotional, right. right. Mm -hmm. Women abuse men too. You know, men, men they say are less likely to report it because of the That's stereotype, the because of the whole stigma, right. you know, of I'm the man, I'm strong, yeah. you know, but- you know, regardless, you know, please don't be afraid to speak out if you feel that someone is hurting you, abusing you, abusing a loved one, and you think that they need help. Um, yeah. So Andrea, of course, gives it two thumbs up. Um, I don't, I don't not recommend it, but I recommend that you read the first book first, because again, like I said, this is a sequel. So read Ice Cream Girls. I actually have the book myself checked out. I, I do want to read it. Because I am interested to know, even though I know there's no resolution, I'm not going to find out who <laughs> killed this guy. Um, but I, I am interested to read what happened. Like, how did this start? What was going on? How terrible this guy was? All the stuff, bad things they said that he was doing. And especially the part when they said he made somebody watch them together. The other girl watched whoever he yeah, was with. I'm like, what, what in the world? Watch the <laughs> I'm like, what good. in the world? Why would you stand there? Like, go on. Yes. <laughs> like, go on. What is happening? What is go what is really going on over there in London? In the <laughs> schools. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me read about what's going on with Poppy, Serena, and Marcus in this book. Like, and so yes. So Miss Yvonne. <laughs> 
Absolutely, I'm not gonna read the first book because that was enough for me. <laughs> but you want to go ahead. <laughs> I do. I, well, hey, judge for yourself. I couldn't read it again. I don't recommend the second book because to me, I, I just don't understand why we even had to know about all that. It just seemed like unnecessary to me. The girl went to jail. Served they were the living their lives. Everybody was good and well and they functioning until this happened. <laughs> just to make sense. Why? Why, Logan? A whole bunch of why? shenanigans. Just, a whole bunch of shenanigans. Just, I don't know why she was. This why? Is why? That's what I'm saying. To. How did she come up with this concept, though? That's what I'm saying. But I like, think, can I mind? see the book for a second? I don't know why. She I don't know. Know. See, that's what she was saying. I was, I was watching... Um, if you're also interested in YouTube, you know, it's a plethora of information. I was watching a couple of interviews with her on YouTube and she did say that she says, I normally don't write sequels um, at all. But she said, because the first book was so popular and people wanted to know what was going on. Like, I guess, because again, she didn't reveal who actually killed him. See, if she it did was speculation. That, that would have made sense to me. If she um, had just told us who killed the man. I would have been yeah, satisfied she, at the she, end, she, even though it was agonizing she, to get to the end. The only thing she hinted I would say that it might have been okay. it might have been the guy's mother, but she hinted. She didn't hinted, say. Hinted, not say. She didn't say for sure. Mm -hmm. Like it could have been. Right. So yeah, but she could have been a lot of people. people. <laughs> right, right. But she doesn't say. But she did. She says this in the. She says I, I didn't right. plan to write a sequel. Yeah. Um, but because. Down. You know, people really wanted to know what happened, like <laughs> but she after didn't Poppy tell and Serena. No, no, they wanted to know what happened with Poppy and Serena, like what was going on with Poppy and Serena. So I guess she wrote this yeah, sequel. I, I did see that on YouTube. That's why right, what she said. Yeah, she I think I remember that. Know. Yeah. So I like I said, I guess because Ice Cream Girls, that book, when I was looking at it on Goodreads, that one got so many good reviews. Everybody loved the Ice Cream Girls. It got good reviews. They loved it. Um, not so much this book, but the Ice Cream Girl. So maybe, like I said, people would just want to know what's going on, what happened. The book was such a good book. They wanted to know what happened with Poppy and Serena. Um, because maybe, like I said, I didn't read the book, but maybe she didn't close it. Like there was, people didn't get any closure at the end of the book. So that's what like, what's happening? You know, I will say something about her. her book, all her books that I've read with her are always black and white there's somebody black and there's somebody white in the books. And I don't know, maybe she does that to appeal to a broader audience, but there's all like, there are two white girl and black girl, but her books are somebody white and somebody black and they're intertwined some kind of way. And, mm. I mean, not that it makes a difference. And if you didn't read the first, you probably wouldn't have guessed that either. I, I, I had a hard time at the beginning to figure it out. The picture is on the Yeah, first. because but but I, asked I, asked asked you. I really wasn't sure. I mean, she clarified it because I asked you, Andrea, I think, oh, which one is the black one, which one is the white one? But as you read, it it you know says you know Serena's husband had an afro right. or dark skin so yeah, but that's later on the book. I mean not that far in but because I had a hard time figuring out who was who like which one is Poppy which one is Serena right yeah. um, I think the, the ice cream the book, actual book has, has and the only reason I knew they was black and white because the cover of the first right, book right that's the cover has a picture but it didn't really specify you know but it did kept bringing up the and I kept talking about the white guy did kept bringing up the black skin and you know not necessarily saying that Poppy was white, but it did, like Serena's side of the family, their skin color, um, the, you know, that, you know, she didn't say you're beautiful for a black woman. You just say you're an attractive woman. Just beautiful. And the same thing about Verity. They, and I thought, like you said, that's normally not, um, in the book, like you don't hear that part. You hear the, the white woman, but then, you know, Poppy was less average or Serena was always beautiful. Right. And, you know, and even Serena even said, oh, you thought I was beautiful. Barely gonna look like me when you know when she get older. So she gonna still be beautiful, you know. <laughs> so that was and Dorothy Coombs is a black woman. So I thought that was another cool point in the book that you know she's uplifting uplifting black, black, women. black women, making the standard of beauty, they not poppy, beautiful. not the white woman, but the black woman is the standard. Oh, you know, she's the most beautiful. The impression that poppy was trailer trash. I don't know. She's I, like, that's how he. The, when Marcus was described, I like she was. No, like, she wasn't. She, she she was. I mean, listening to her, it's like no, don't sound like something to the family. Right, mom and dad, she was. Uh -huh. I don't know for some reason middle class always, family. Not, well, not they portrayed her, she was, and she was right. You know, I get what you're saying. That impression. Some kind of way. Yeah, but she you know, was not not as smart. Not as smart. Not as just pretty. Kind of um, <laughs> dowdy. They said. Dowdy, yeah, yeah, she just wasn't. That their their family wasn't. Yeah. Upper like. So, you know, Serena, he's a doctor and, you know, they seem like they grew up better than maybe wrong, not wrong side of the tracks, but I shouldn't say true. Or maybe she was like a, like a 
plain Jane type white right. girl. So she wasn't, and that's how she got really taken advantage of. Why right, 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 right. So excuse me if I said Trey. Laura just dropped down. Laura just, and that. that's yeah. why he liked her. So he had to. Because right, he would tell her that she was, she would tell her that she was ugly. You know, she doesn't look. You know, she, she don't look as good as you do. Right, she don't take care of herself like yeah, you do, or you know. Don't worry about it. That's just creepy. She did. She did, and again, not the trailer trash. I want to apologize for. She just seemed like Poppy wasn't. Wasn't all that. Right, right, and. Not like Where, Serena. Right, Serena was, apparently was. She was beautiful. And right. Apparently, and still, the son came like, oh, God. still to this day. Like, hmm. He wanted to just know what his daddy did. <clears> and all of a sudden, out of the blue, like, I can see why he wanted right, you to do yeah, yeah. I'm good looking. Let me get with you. Right, That's right. just creepy. <laughs> it was creepy. That gave me a creep like, ew. <laughs> right, be like, boy. I just told you your daddy was what he did to me, and you are telling you me. Don't come back to me like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, could be your mama, boy. <laughs> just creepy. Like I said, it was all, it was all, it was all types of crazy that. stuff going on. Yeah. Like I said, him and his daddy, all even though he didn't know his daddy, but you going down the same road your daddy yeah, is, yeah, you better go on, like you better go on somewhere, little boy. <laughs> just crazy. So this was a wild ride. It really was. So like I said, I do want to read the ice cream girls. Miss Yvonne doesn't, but I do. I kind of want to, I want to read, read like, it. Let me know how it works. I want to read it. I'm not going to rush to read it, but I'm going to read it. <laughs> so, yes. So All My Lies Are True by Miss Dorothy Clemson. We It's available here at the Bobby Public Library. So check out if you're interested in it. By all means, come in and check it out. Let us know in the comments if you've read this book, what you think. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Any closing remarks? No? All right. So thank you, Ms. Andrea, for recommending our book. Um, I'll do, I'll do a book next time. No, this well, book no, was fine. This is what it's supposed to be about. I'll, I'll do a book that doesn't have a stop. No. And everybody's it opinion. You know, we stand alone. Yeah. We all have an opinion. I, we all have an opinion. 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 We all and we banter, yeah. <laughs> and we all, like you said, sometimes we see different perspectives when right. we hear other people talk about, like, oh, I never thought about it that way. Yeah. Or, you know, you change your mind, like, oh, okay, that character, you know. Okay. So, <laughs> yes. All right. So next month's book, April's book is The Things We Cannot Say by Miss Kelly Rimmer. Did I say her name? Rimmer. This was Miss Yvonne's pick. So we're going to be excited to talk about The Things We Cannot Say in April by Miss Kelly Rimmer. All right, thank you all for listening to another book banter from the Broadview Public Library. Everybody stay safe and we will see you next month. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>